Good morning. I have been putting those vitamin C packets, you know, like the really delicious ones that I personally love. Um, I've been putting them in here and it's been a game changer. It is so delicious. Mm. It tastes like super orangey and like citrusy. So good. Let's do some skincare. finished up my skincare and my skin has never been happier for what well, you guys know for the longest while I have sort of struggled with like redness on my cheeks and besides that little spot there I will say the redness on my cheeks is pretty much gone and it has been a long time coming and I've been very skeptical of these products because I have had a lot of products in the past that sort of work for some time and then they sort of stop working and it feels like my skin just gets angry after a while but these guys. First up, sunscreen. I switched to mineral sunscreen because as you guys know, chemical sunscreen tends to bring heat to the surface of your skin, which brings out redness. Um, so I switched to this mineral. Um, this is a Summer Fridays Mineral Milk Sunscreen and I love it. It was actually one of you ladies who recommended it to me. I think it was on Instagram. I asked for some sunscreen recommendations and this was one of the ones that you guys recommended to me. Amazing, I love it. It's super, super lightweight, it's clear. There's also hardly any like fragrance to it, which is really nice, makes it feel really like gentle on the skin. But these two, I discovered these two. These are the uh, Caudalie Venusource Hydra Hyaluronic Serum and the Moisturizing Sorbet. Actually, when I went to get a facial with Caudalie, I went in, my skin was very angry. Um, and I said to her, I just really want to target like redness and I want my skin to be hydrated and glowy. And she initially reached for these. And it was when she used this one that I actually interrupted her and asked her, okay, what did you just put on my face? I thought it was like an oil. I didn't know what it was. I ended up buying both of these and have been using them since I went to Spain. So it's been... I would say close to two months now that I have been using these two every morning. I have a different skincare routine at night, which I can show you later in the vlog. But these two have been amazing in the morning. Before my makeup, my skin has been loving them. You can clearly tell the glow, and that's just what I've been using. Fantastic. I love it. <laughs> um, but going on to makeup today, I wanted to quickly do my makeup because I feel like I've been using so many products that I've yet to show you. Um, and the first one is going to be this one right here, which is my Shiseido foundation. This is a Revital Essence Skin Glow foundation, which I discovered in New York with Shiseido. And you guys kind of saw me there trying it and I was really, really impressed with the finish and the feel of the foundation. Needless to say, I have been wearing it every single day since that event. And yes, I mean every single day. <laughs> and I'm using shade 330. I just like to pump a little bit of it on my hand. It's also like really watery. You can see it's just slipping down my face or my hand, sorry. And I go in with this little brush, um, also from Shiseido, and I just gently rub that in. I just put a really, really thin layer of it on. And as you can see, like that glow is not disappearing whatsoever. Um, and I do like to concentrate this kind of in the middle of my face where I get like most of my redness, although it's pretty much gone with those Caudalie products, but um, I do still get a little bit around my nose now and sometimes in between my eyebrows as well. And then I'll brush kind of the excess on the edges of my face where I don't really need as much product. I don't even need to say anything, but like, look at that. It just looks amazing. You can still see all of my freckles. It's really, really glowy, but it definitely evens out my skin tone really, really nicely. I absolutely love it. Something really cool that we learned about the foundation in New York is that it's a skincare based product, which I think is really cool. So it's got niacinamide, which is really, really amazing for smoothing out um, your skin texture. 
um, as well as just giving a really nice bright finish. Also got a probiotic kefir, which is really good for kind of your skin biome, making sure that your skin is just happy and not angry at the product that is going on it. But the thing that I found was the coolest, obviously it's cool that it has skincare, but a lot of products nowadays have skincare in them. So that's not sort of revolutionary at this point. What was really interesting, and I'll try and put some images up here to kind of give you a visual because I'm a very visual person, but the main difference between this product um, and some other makeup kind of infused skincare is the way that the skincare is in the product. So in most products, the skincare is fully immersed into the product. So it's gonna look a little bit like this. So you've got almost like equal parts skincare and equal parts makeup. It's all in there. And the Shiseido one, it's gonna look like this. Instead of having little skincare capsules within makeup, you're actually gonna have makeup capsules within skincare. So the base of the product is skincare, but it's got makeup in it. So you can kind of see how that's a little bit different, which means it's gonna allow your skin to more readily absorb all those good things that it has in it. And it was really cool. The one thing that they showed us, I'm trying to find my contour and I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Um, the one thing that they showed us is that they did a study where people only use this and no other skincare products and their skin actually improved over time because of those skincare ingredients in there. Again, I think it's so cool. And for me that I'm someone who I think skincare comes first, you know, a lot of the times people ask me, oh Sam, like what makeup do you use? I want, you know, my makeup to look like that. And yes, the makeup does make a huge difference, but it's that skincare element. You know, skincare truly does come first. And the fact that that one is pretty much skincare first is really, really nice. Also, just my skin loves the product. When I got home from New York, the first thing I did was like, mom, you have to try this foundation. And well, needless to say, she is now going out to buy her own bottle in her correct shade because she also loves it. She just thinks that at her age, less is more for her skin and this product is just that. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> and I like to set just where I need it. My bronzer is going to be this Play to Poe one. This was the one I discovered in that um, full face of Play to Poe products. And oh my god, I've been using it every single day. I use it every single day. This is the bronzing powder duo. Um, it comes with two shades. I love it. I love how light this um, bronzer is. So it's really nice. You can build it up exactly where you want it. It's nice and glowy without being glittery. Oh, it's for mascara, Clay de Poe. I also discovered this one and that's like full face of Clay de Poe and well, it's become my everyday mascara. more glowiness to my face but I'm gonna add a little bit more this was actually sent to me from Westman Atelier which was so cool because you guys know I have been loving Westman Atelier and I went out and purchased a bunch of their products um, but they kindly sent me a few more they sent me this um, lit up highlight stick in a different shade than the one that I have this is the shade Parla so you can see it's a lot lighter than the one that I have and um, so the shade that I picked up for myself was this one here which is a much like pinkier color. This one is in the shade Nectar, which I love. I think it's very, very beautiful. But I've actually been loving this one and I'm trying to find it online, but it's a much like creamier consistency I find because I always use a brush and it just seems like a lot creamier than the one that I have, um, which is really, really pretty. This one definitely looks super dewy. I've also been really liking putting some on my brow bone. I think that looks really pretty. Now, I have to try this. Maybe tomorrow I'll try it with you guys. This is the Westman Atelier um, Super Loaded Liquid um, in the shade Peau de Soleil. It's just supposed to be like 
glowy drops but i kind of want to try them out just on their own with like no foundation i'm sad because that means i can't wear my shiseido but um it looks like that i'm just curious to see like how much pigmentation is going to be on there it doesn't look like there's much it might just be like a glowy base anyways that's Pretty much it and then i got sent some new lip pencils from jones road which i've been really loving this is in the shade nudist <laughs> and it's such a perfect color for my lips i just sort of outline my lips just to give them a bit more definition nothing crazy and then of course i'm going to go in with a little bit more of my la mer lip balm the weather is changing here so the lips have been needing some TLC, but that's okay. But how pretty is that lip color? It just looks like my lips, but better. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to get ready with you this morning and talk you through this because I had an update and someone also asked me, um, I think it was on Instagram, potentially, um, how this compares to the Giorgio Armani, um, oh my God, I'm blanking on in the name. But we all know the Armani foundation, how it compares to that. And my answer is to go about this different ways. This, I can't compare it to a foundation. I know it's called a foundation, but it doesn't, it just doesn't perform like a foundation in the sense that it's not as thick as a foundation. There's not as much pigment in there. It's got skincare benefits. It's definitely super glowy without being glittery or anything like that, or oily, which is something that I find a lot from like glowy foundations they tend to be very oily or greasy it's also not as greasy as some skin tints that are glowy um if i feel how do you know how to describe this i feel like if the chanel water fresh skin tint had a baby with the caudalie vino perfect serum if they had a baby this would be it <laughs> so if you use those two products which if you've been following me for a while i think you might because i use those two products it feels as lightweight as the water fresh skin tint from chanel with that like little bit of pigment it's just going to give you a perfect flush of color um but with the glowiness the dewiness the hydration and the feeling of the vino perfect serum from caudalie so and if you need a visual like me i am talking about these are the two products i'm talking about if these two guys had a baby this would be it <laughs> i swear that's this is like the most accurate sort of way i can describe the product because i don't think it's comparable to any foundation i've ever used so yeah there you go okay i gotta get ready for the day i was supposed to have a delivery from ikea today because i'm redoing the office which i can show you today um and they just called me and told me that they weren't coming today because they forgot to put my stuff on the truck so now it's coming on saturday so saturday i'll have everything obviously it's ikea so it all needs to be built but I'm really excited to have that office completely redone. But anyways, I'm gonna get dressed and get going with my day. I also need to finish my AG1 because I'm starting to get hungry and I like to have this before I have any food. So there you go. Yeah. Let's get ready. I am just about finished getting ready. Just adding some jewelry. This is a new Pyra ring from Missouri. It's their Pyra collection, which has like a ton of little like triangles in there i absolutely love it i've been wearing it every single day and i've just been stacking it with my little diamond band there and then of course i've been wearing my carnelian bracelet every single day um i got it from shiseido so i've been wearing that i got something for myself it was a little bit of a late birthday gift but i got myself Gayak 10 which i have been waiting for for a year because i didn't realize that this was limited edition last summer i went to buy it and I just it wasn't available and I was so sad and I didn't get it oh oh but I got it and it's amazing it's um it's made with kayak which is really really dry wood it's also got four musks in there so it's a really like elegant light musky fragrance so it's not it's not the type of fragrance that's gonna walk in the room before you do and I smell it on myself all day and it's funny because I wore it last week and I got a million more compliments on it it is truly amazing I love it so now, did it cost an arm and a leg? Yes, 
it did. I had put on this Aritzia shirt with my Aritzia trousers, but I've had a change of heart. I'm actually quite chilly. So I think I'm just gonna put on this little Lily Silk cashmere turtleneck just so I can be nice and cozy and it should still pair nicely with the trousers. So let's put it on. I put on the sweater and I really, really like it. I definitely like this outfit much more. I've just added my little Dior belt these are the same trousers. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of my fragrance on my sweater. Anyways, I'm going to make myself some breakfast because I have yet to have breakfast today and I am starving. So let's go do it. Also, a pumpkin spice latte is in the books for today. I realized I ran out of eggs and I have limited my egg intake, um, but I have no more. So anyways, I'm gonna have this leftover from the pantry, which is a super cute little place. Um, in Toronto, it's kind of like buffet style, so they have a ton of different things, but the way it works is you pick one protein and two sides, two proteins, two sides, three sides, etc. And you kind of have your pick. So I chose some truffle mac and cheese, some tofu, and there's some kale Caesar salad, which is so, so good. So I'm just gonna warm up some of that stuff and have that for breakfast, and then I'm gonna make a quick coffee because I have so much to do. I also wanna show you guys what I bought in Spain and what I've been buying since I've been back. There are so many good things that I have to show you. I think you guys are gonna love them. So as soon as I'm done eating, we'll sit down and I can show you everything. Okay, food. It's all warmed up and I'm going to watch this show. It's called Surf Girls and it's actually a new show I've been watching and it kind of follows like the next generation of Hawaiian surfers. So it's a bunch of girls and it's so cool. It kind of reminds me of like Bethany Hamilton. I went through such a phase with Bethany Hamilton and the movie Soul Surfer. Like I had the book, watched the movie, I was obsessed with surfing. I remember at one point my parents took me out east, um, not for this sole purpose, but when we went to the east coast, so like Halifax, PEI, they took me surfing and it was so hard. And I remember the water was so cold, like we had to wear wetsuits, even though it was like the middle of summer when we went. That's how interested I was in surfing at the time. Anyways, I'm gonna eat because I am starving. This is the spiced creamer I've been using. This is the Elmhurst Oat Creamer Chai Spice. And if you like pumpkin spice lattes, but the Starbucks ones are too sweet for you, oh my God, you guys have to try this. I've been obsessed with it. I actually almost didn't buy it. I almost went with the safe route and got the caramel one, but the Jack was like, no Sam, try the Chai Spy, um, or sorry, the Chai Spice. And um, I'm so glad I listened to him because it's really, really good. This is, I've been obsessed with it. It's so, so good. And it's not too sweet. Like I know some creamers, like you put in like a little tiny amount and it's too sweet. This one's really, really good. It just has a really nice flavor while still adding a little bit of sweetness in there, but nothing too crazy. So coffee's made. I'm going to have this and do a couple emails because I have to get some stuff done and checked off my list today. So I've just sat down here and I think I'm ready to chat about everything that I got in Spain, everything that I've been buying. There's a few beauty bits, accessories, athletic wear, lounge wear, there's a little bit of everything here. So I'm gonna try and do this in a timely manner. So grab a cup of coffee or a tea, a snack, and get cozy because there's some good bits in here. So let's start off with one of my favorite purchases. Actually, there's a lot of favorite purchases from Spain, <laughs> but this one is probably one of my most worn since I've gotten it. This is my Longchamp Le Fliage in the medium size with the tote strap. Now there's two lengths that you can get on this bag. You can get the handbag length, which is a smaller strap, and then the tote bag, which you can obviously wear it as a tote. It's really comfortable. I went with that one because I like to be able to comfortably carry my bags around. If there is no crossbody, then this is the next best. I went with the all black, classic, elegant. I did add a little twilly to it because I wanted to add something a little special to the bag. It was obviously very simple as it was. They had the cutest little twillies at the duty-free so I got one 
And this is just navy and white and there's a little bit of green which I thought was fun. They're actually called headbands at Longchamp, not sure, not sure why, but um, yeah. So anyways, that was the first thing that I got and I absolutely love it. I've been getting so much use out of it and the medium for me is a perfect size. Obviously, if you get a bigger bag, you're going to be able to put more in it, which makes it heavier, a little bit more uncomfortable. So I just wanted the perfect everyday bag that wasn't too big or too small. And I love it so, so much. <laughs> Moving on to some clothing bits. First up, we have this gorgeous dress from Bash and Jack was such a sweetheart. He helps me pick out this dress that day. Um, and I love the pattern, the colors, the reds and the blues are absolutely amazing. I just, I love how this dress fits. It's a classic midi length, um, but my favorite part about it is the fabric. The fabric is this soft, lightweight um, fabric and it's just it's gorgeous. And then to go with that dress, I picked up a cardigan. And I had been eyeing this cardigan up in Canada. I actually saved a little bit by buying this in Europe. Um, but I just got it in this red knit and it's just beautiful. All the detail, it's got shoulder pads, which I typically wouldn't go for, but I love it. Um, the most beautiful buttons, I'll, I'll show you how beautiful those buttons are. Just a really, really high quality item. And the nice thing about this sweater is that it comes in multiple colors, like black and white and striped, if you're not one to go for a bright color like this. Um, I just, I love it so much. I've been so impressed with Bash recently. I think it's become one of my go-to stores. Obviously, I love a good patterned dress and they have plenty of those dresses. So that's what I got from Bash. I didn't do a whole lot of shopping at Zara, but I did find this shirt and it is this gorgeous pink color. You can't quite see it on camera, um, but the reason why I immediately went for this was because the quality of the shirt, the material and the feel of it um, really reminded me of my Cezanne shirt. Um, and I will have to say after wearing it a couple times, actually multiple times. <laughs> um, it wears so beautifully. It steams so, so, so well. And that's a good telltale sign of a cheap versus high quality shirt. How well does a fabric steam or iron? Typically the cheaper fabrics will be a pain in the butt to steam or iron, whereas more higher quality fabrics will be a breeze. Um, so this one is gorgeous. It's definitely a boxy oversized fit, but I love that. Um, I just, I love it. And I don't usually go for pink, but it's so elegant. I love it. <laughs> now, this is a really funky dress. This is a dress from United Colors of Benetton, and I feel like it's so true to the brand. So many colors in here. It's a classic shirt dress. I love when dresses have a ton of colors because it means you can play off of every color that's in here, meaning when I go to choose accessories, they can be red, yellow, brown, blue, white, black, because there's so many colors in here. Accessories become so much fun and there's so many ways that you could totally change the outfit depending on the accessories. So I love it, it's a classic. It's just a cotton fabric, beautiful for the summer, beautiful in the winter. I can layer it with like a turtleneck like this for the winter. I'm really excited to play around with this dress um, in the fall and winter, so. There you go. I will say, last time I went to Benetton, they had far more basics. I remember when we went, they had a literal wall, just a wall of cashmere and wool sweaters in every single color and every single fit. They had um, V-necks, crew necks, turtlenecks, short sleeve, long sleeve, they had everything. And this time I didn't see that. And I was a little sad because I feel like I remember Benetton being like that perfect place for basics and they had a lot of things like this which I love like a lot of patterned funky stuff um, which is fun but I was really hoping that they were gonna have just those basics because we don't have it here so yeah anyways um, moving on to a couple little um, beauty bits that I bought in Spain um, let's start off with some things from Caudalie of course the body washes, I love these body washes. My two favorite scents are the Soleil de Vigne and the, oh, oh Te, Te, oh Jesus, <laughs> Te de Vigne. The purple and yellow are my two favorite scents. This one is much more of like a masculine fragrance. It's really clean, it's really fresh. This one literally smells like the beach, like a luxurious beach. It's amazing, I love it got those two. <laughs> and then because I fell in love with the oil, the body oil, I picked it up in the um, Soleil de Vigne um, fragrance. So this fragrance is the exact same as this one here and they don't have this fragrance available in Canada and because I loved the fig oil that we have here in Canada, I wanted to pick it up in a second scent. It's so 
oh it's so luxurious most nights i will shower with this and then i will put this on all over my body you guys know i have really dry skin my skin just loves it so i had to pick up another scent of this another thing i picked up which funnily became available as soon as we got back home is this vino pure salicylic spot treatment from caudalie i obviously i'm very um lucky that my skin is is really good i don't get a whole lot of blemishes and spots and acne or anything like that but i do get the odd one and i've yet to find a good spot treatment i'll occasionally use my my pink um serum from drunk elephant uh, i will actually use that as a spot treatment and it actually works pretty well but i wanted a proper spot treatment and this one has been fantastic i like that it actually has a really tiny um sort of applicator so you can be very direct with it or i'll just put it on my finger and put it where i need it to go so yes there you go i really really like it it's fantastic <laughs> and then the last thing i got in spain which is my pride and joy is my tobacco Toscano fragrance from Santa Maria Novella. If you've been around for a little time, you will know that last summer, around the same time, so in August, I went to France, Paris with Caudalie, and whilst I was there, I made the point to buy a fragrance that was gonna feel really special. And I came across this tiny little boutique in uh, Le Bon Marche, and, um, the brand was Santa Maria Novella and I loved everything about this boutique. It looked so old and elegant. The bottles all looked like vintage and antique. And if you've been around, you know that I love all that stuff. So it really captured my attention. So I picked um, Lyris, um, or Lyris, um, which is their first perfume that they've ever launched. So when I was in Spain, I really wanted to pick a fragrance that was gonna feel special and remind me of my time in Spain and that trip. And after <laughs> spending like an hour the wonderful sales associate both jack and i actually picked out fragrances now he'll have to tell you the fragrance that he picked out i can't remember right now but i picked tobacco toscano oh, just a moment for the bottle so beautiful oh, amazing um obviously it's got tobacco in it but it's also got um some notes of vanilla in there smoky vanilla so it's a very very like smoky elegant fragrance. I would say kind of reminiscent of By the Fireplace, but far more elegant. It feels like the older, more wiser, more elegant sister of By the Fireplace. I would say I prefer this one a million times more, but it's it's just, it's amazing. I love it so much. So that's what I got from, um, from Madrid. Now moving on from what I got in Spain and just some bits that I've been buying for fall. So we have this super, super cute dress from H&M, which actually, let me button it up for you so you can get a proper visual. So we have this little dress. Now again, I've been so much into the patterns. This is a shorter dress with a very kind of slouchy um, shirt style up above. And I just love the pattern because it's got black, white, and blue. So it meant that I would be able to pair this with my black accessories super, super easily. So with my black boots, my black Lady Dior, I just thought it was gonna be the perfect little fall dress. Obviously you can wear it in the summer, no problem. And then in the winter with tights, it would be perfect. So I loved the silhouette of this, very slouchy in the fabric feels really really beautiful and high quality so it's really nice from H&M. I got that and I love it so much. Um, now one more piece from Bash which oh my god I have worn this like a million times like I'm actually embarrassed how many times I've worn this but this is the Meredith jacket from Bash. It's just a classic little cropped jacket with gold buttons on it it's kind of got like a boucle fabric to it i guess that's how you would describe it i don't know um but it's so gorgeous i have been able to wear this with literally everything everything and i mean everything like i could put this on right now with my turtleneck and it would look perfect it's just such a great little layering piece and i felt like i had a lot of blazers and I had a lot of coats but i didn't have very many little jackets like this um and it's so beautiful i love it i <laughs> Again, like I said, I've been wearing it way too much. Um, and then a couple pieces from Aritzia. You guys know I've had a little bit of a tug and pull with Aritzia, I haven't been loving their stuff. But I um, picked up a pair of the agency cropped trousers. I got these in a size four and I absolutely love them. The quality is fantastic. The fabric is a nice, soft, 
um, material, there's a pill, there's a little bit of stretch in there, but not a whole lot. A perfect cropped length. So I like to wear these specifically with sneakers. I think they're a perfect everyday trouser. Obviously they look amazing with heels. You can wear them to the office, but I love it. I just don't love their full length trousers with heels because they look a little bit dated in my opinion. I like my trousers to go either two inches above my ankles or to the floor. And I find a lot of their full length trousers kind of sit like right at your heel level, like they're two, three inches above the floor. And I don't love that. I think that looks a little bit dated. Um, so yeah, there we go. Agency cropped trousers, absolutely amazing. And then this was a little bit of a dupe, I would say, for the totem sweater that I got last year, which I have worn a million times. But this is, oh, I'm forgetting the name of this now. Well, mom, mom will find it for you guys and link it for you guys. But this is a heavy, heavy knit from Aritzia. It's got beautiful navy stripes. And as you can see, inspiration was clearly taken from the totem sweater. This sweater does come in a turtleneck, but because I already had my totem, I felt that that was a little bit unnecessary. So I actually went from the crew neck and I really like it because it's a nice layering piece over your shoulders when you go out and about. Um, whereas the turtlenecks sometimes get a little bit annoying to put it over your shoulders because there's a, there's a like extra fabric there. So this is what I got and I got a size double extra small because it is quite oversized. Um, like even on me, I know I'm five foot three, but even on me, the double XS is super big. <laughs> so definitely watch the sizing with this, but it's amazing. I love it. I love all the details. And I will say the quality on this is fantastic. So it's definitely worth the price quality wise. I know Ritzy has been a little iffy with their pricing and their quality, but this one is a go for me. It's so, so good. It's fantastic. I've been buying a couple things for kind of yoga and just lounge wear. Now there's, there's only two things admittedly, but I've been very careful with what I incorporate into my wardrobe in terms of lounge wear. And I've been looking for new lounge wear brands. So if you have any lounge wear brands, very elevated lounge wear brands that you guys like, comment down below because I have been struggling. I even bought a couple things from Aritzia and I ended up returning them because it, the quality wasn't just there for me and the fabrics were okay. So the first thing I picked up are my, um, I forget the names now, you guys will know more than me, but these are my aloe yoga leggings. I bought them in brown. I know, shameful. Uh, the same ones, size small, 7 8 length, <laughs> and I got them because I actually had the matching bra at home. So I wanted to have a little matching set for yoga and just, yeah, these are my favorite leggings. Um, they're amazing. I actually had a lady ask me, well, stop me after my yoga class the other day. And she was like, oh, I noticed you're wearing all aloe. Like, why are you wearing aloe instead of Lulu? Like she wanted all the details. And uh, well, I, I was honest with her. I just, I told her like, you know what? Aloe feels like it's built for working out. And I'm someone who, you know, has boobs and I feel like Lululemon has shifted in such a way that it's like they have their high 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 intensity sports bras which I wear for running and running only but if you have big boobs and you're not running I feel like they don't really have anything that really caters to working out it's fine if you're sitting around the house and using it as loungewear getting groceries picking up the kids you know living in your clothing but when it comes to like actually doing yoga, Pilates, I feel like Lululemon does not suit my body anymore. It used to, it just doesn't anymore, but aloe, you know, I feel secure in it. I feel like I can do downward dog. And when I stand up, I don't have to adjust my boobs. And I love that. So that's, I obviously didn't tell her all that stuff, but I gave her kind of the gist that aloe just felt like sportswear that I could actually do a sport in. And that was awesome, so. Hello. Now, yesterday I went to Distillery District with my mom. Uh, we were doing some work there and I stumbled upon this store called Hoi Bo. Hoi Bo? Hoi Bo. And it was all kind of like elevated lounge wear, like everyday wear, city wear, and they had the most beautiful fabrics. They had a ton of linen, cotton, wool, and I saw these pants and I thought they would be the perfect perfect pant to head to the gym, go to yoga class, um, especially in the winter. So 
um, I'm gonna have to remember the name of them, but I'll definitely link them down below for you guys because I don't think there's a tag on them. No, there isn't a tag on them. Oh, that's frustrating. All their stuff is made in Toronto, handmade, the most amazing fabrics. And so these are a pair of kind of, they look really funny when they're not on, sort of like little trousers. Um, they've got like a wide leg, they're very slouchy, but they've got the most perfect kind of tapered cropped length. Um, they're elasticated up top, but my favorite thing about these, and I'll have to get close and show you, but they are made from a boiled wool. So obviously these are going to be for my Canadian ladies. Um, these are going to be great for the winter, say if you're heading to a yoga class and you have to take a short walk, if you live in Toronto, if you're in your car, that's okay. These do come in other fabrics, um, such as like a, like a normal fleece and I believe like a, a terry cotton as well. I went for the wool because I wanted something that I could walk outside in and it's gonna keep me nice and warm. And they're just fantastic, I'll show you. You can see the texture on them. They just look so elevated. They've got some fantastic pockets on them. Um, the elastic band is amazing. Just a really fantastic little pant that I thought was gonna stay in my wardrobe for a really long time. And of course, the first question I asked was, okay, well, <laughs> how do I wash these pants? And she said, and this was actually a little bit of a learning moment for me, which was really fascinating. Um, I was not aware of this, and maybe some of you won't either, but um, boiled wool and wool in general, so that includes cashmere, um, is actually antibacterial in, to some extent because of the natural fibers and the oils and the, and the fibers. Something about that um, pretty much makes it repel sweat and odor so not that it's going to be in like invincible but it is going to be better than other fabrics meaning you technically shouldn't have to wash your wool items every single time you wear them so you can wear them several times i mean i do that anyways but you can wear them you know multiple times and instead of washing them she actually recommended to steam them a little bit um so you can grab a steamer as if you were steaming your clothes and you know turn the item inside out steam it going to get rid of any little bacteria that's going to be in there and that's going to allow your wool items to stay looking good for as long as possible and also save you some hand washing time um, because I know how much of a pain washing wool and knit sweaters. I know my mom does as well. Um, I know how much of a pain that is. So that's a little fun fact for you guys uh, that I learned. And yeah, so anyways, that's what I got. And I love them so much. I'll have to put them on uh, tomorrow when I go to yoga class. And um, yeah, I'll try them on for you guys. And I'll link down the website of the brand. I don't know if they deliver globally, but for my Canadian ladies, um, definitely check them out. Uh, it's, it's hard to come by a really high quality Canadian brand, but I was really happy to find and discover this brand. So yeah, uh, I think that's it. I'm gonna put all of this away and start getting ready because I actually have a dinner event tonight for a fragrance company. Um, and I'm gonna take you along because Fragrance events are one of my favorite events to go to. I mean, I'm a fragrance lover, so I oftentimes love going to these events where they educate us about you know, how the fragrances are made, um, the inspiration behind them. Oftentimes we'll get to meet the owners of the brand. So I love, love going to fragrance events. And this one is one that's um, really caught my attention and I don't really know about the brand all that much. I think it's called Ellis Brooklyn. My phone is over there. It just really caught my attention. So we're gonna get ready for that tonight. I believe we're going to a beautiful Indian restaurant in the city called Adrak, Adrak uh, in Yorkville. So yeah, that's where we're going tonight. I have no idea what I'm wearing yet. I do need to touch up my makeup because it has been hours and hours, but I mean, look how wonderful that foundation is still looking. I don't need to touch up my foundation. I'm just gonna add, I think a little bit more concealer, a little bit more bronzer, and maybe we'll do a little bit more mascara and a lippy for tonight, but yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's put everything away and start getting ready for tonight. Ah, we're running late. I have 20 minutes to get ready and head out the door, so let's do it. about these events is well you guys know that my taste in fragrances is a little bit different I think to what most women like um, and so most of the time when I go to these events I don't necessarily love the fragrance that they're talking about because they pick the fragrances that I think the mass consumer will like but 
The reason I go is because typically I am able to explore their other fragrances, sometimes even their men's fragrances. So for example, when we went to the Killian event, I discovered Dark Lady um, through the event being for like fragrances for women and obviously they showed me all the women's fragrances and then I said okay but what are some of your men's fragrances and that's how I discovered the one that I like. So most of the time during these events I'm actually able to discover fragrances that I really really love from different brands just in being there and being exposed to the different, um, different brand. So okay now Lippy, I'm gonna go with this color for now but I might change it and do a darker lip later on. Popped on my Holly Cooper blazer and I'm putting on my Holly Cooper belt that I actually got whilst I was at Holly Cooper in the UK. Cause this one's got a beautiful, like almost like crocodile texture to it. And I love it. It looks so fantastic. Like, look at that. It's so good. I am all ready to go. And I think I really love this. It's simple but elegant and I think it'll look really good. I've got pretty much all Holland Cooper on, Karen Millen trousers. I brought up an oldie but a goodie. Those of you who know will know. <laughs> but I got my old coach tabby out with me tonight. And yeah, okay. I'm running super late, so let's go. Hello everyone, I just got back from the event and instantly took a shower. I just got out of the shower and washed my face. I've yet to do skincare. The event was fantastic. We ended up going to this restaurant called Adrak, which is an Indian restaurant in Toronto. And oh my God, it was so good. To be honest, I haven't quite discovered any fantastic Indian restaurants in the city. Um, which is nice to discover because I love, 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 love Indian food. Jack loves it as well. Jack and I have been taught how to eat Indian in the sense that like we use our non bread to like, in our hands to eat Indian food. Like we don't use a fork and knife. And this was definitely like a fancier restaurant and everybody at the dinner was <laughs> eating with their fork and knife. So I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna uh, eat with my hands, but um, it always feels so funny because I literally, did not know how to eat Indian food with a fork and knife. I felt a little bit lost because typically like how our friend, his name is Wazi, how he has taught us to eat Indian food is to like you grab the naan bread, you kind of like create like a little, like a little nook and then you kind of put like, you put the rice in there and you scoop up like the rice and whatever meat and curry you're eating and just like scoop it up and then you eat it, you bite it with your hands. Um, so I felt so weird eating with a fork and knife. Anyways, um, you're like, Sam, no one cares, but well, that was my experience, but the food was amazing. Just using my Cody eye cream. I've been using my Shiseido uh, Vital Perfection range at night. This has been my evening routine since September, um, beginning of September when I went to New York with Shiseido. Ever since that event, this is all I've been using at night and it is truly truly beautiful skincare and for me like a lot of people ask me Sam you're so young like why would you use like retinol at such a young age everything I can do to keep my skin nourished and happy and well taken care of I will do and essentially this vital perfection range is a um, is a retinol so I've been loving it it also smells so so beautiful I'm just gonna add some of my La Mer lip balm. I swear by this. Honestly, ever since I discovered this, I've been happy, but my bank account has not been. <laughs> then, a little pre-bed fragrance spritz. Mm. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> it is getting late, and I think I am going to watch a little bit of Keeping Up With The Kardashians and enjoy my evening and get some good rest because tomorrow I have a long, long day ahead of me. Anyways, okay, let's go get into bed. <laughs> 